Just Stop Oil protesters have been criticised for risking not only their lives, but the lives of the Formula One drivers after storming the Silverstone track during the British Grand Prix yesterday. Seven people were arrested as the group sat on the track. It was moments after that terrifying crash between Zhu Guan Yu, George Russell and Pierre Gasly. Joining us now from Just Up Oil is its spokesman, James Skeet. James, welcome to the programme. Thanks for having me, Ed. Did you succeed yesterday in achieving your objective? And what was your objective? Well, uh, first up, the Just Up Oil Coalition is demanding that there be no new investment in fossil fuel projects. So you didn't succeed on that? Um, well, uh, what, we're seeing at the, what we're seeing at the moment is a result of, our, of the failures of our political system. Yeah, but you, but where people, but just, where people, did, just where normal though, people feel so normal people feel so desperate yesterday? that not only is their government not taking oh, meaningful sorry. action on the climate crisis, they're actively pursuing 40 new projects that, if completed, that. will will kill all of us. That's a really, really good point, and I totally understand the campaign. Climate change is really important. But I ask you a specific question: What were you trying to achieve yesterday? And did you achieve your objective? I'm on your programme talking about the most critical issue facing humanity, so I'd call that a success. So it's getting the publicity? Absolutely. You know, we're out of time, unfortunately. We're, we're in a dire situation right now. We had three named storms in a week in the United Kingdom recently. It hit 49 degrees C in British Columbia recently. It's supposed to have a top temperature of, like, 16 degrees. I understand that. You know, it was 30 degrees above average in the Arctic, 40 degrees above average in the Antarctic. It was so hot in India and Pakistan, birds were literally dropping out the sky. We're seeing crops fail worldwide. If we don't take action now, we're all going to... When you think of the great protest movements and the civil disobedience of the last 100 years, like the suffragette, or the campaign Gandhi for Indian independence or the civil rights movement or uh, you know, the pride campaign for, um, for equality um, mm. for um, people of all sexualities in our country. I mean, what do you learn from their campaigns? Well, as you, as you will no, well know, they all took disruptive action. Like, we wouldn't be in the place that we are in society if those groups hadn't taken the action that they took. What your audience need to understand... But the other thing was that they actually were quite clever at getting public opinion on their side. And I that's wonder how that's going. That's not true, Ed, is it? Like, the, these groups were some of the most po unpopular groups of their time. What your audience need to understand is that we're being systematically lied to. The government has no intention of dealing with this crisis. They are under the behest of big business and corporate interests. And corporate media like mm -hmm. yourselves... Uh, are, are also uh, complicit with this. OK. Well, except, um, except, as you say, one of your objectives was to get on this programme in, in order to talk about this issue. So to accuse us of being complicit seems uh, yes, to but undermine what, what, your what, point. What else would you be talking about if we hadn't taken that action yesterday? Probably just some well, footage for your audience. You. I point and you to unfortunately, our web, to our the, the mainstream media in general is, is, is not yeah, giving yeah, sorry, the climate crisis. Sorry, that is the, the, completely unjustified. It's not giving the climate crisis the, the care Laura that it deserves. Tobin covers this in a way that is completely unrivaled amongst other broadcasters. So I think that is a little bit unfair. And especially as you are, you have, as you say, achieved your objective. You've got it talked about. Now, the issue I think that Ed is is pointing to is there is huge popular support for a lot of your message. Absolutely. Some people might take issue with the kind of apocalyptic language that we're exactly. all going it's, to die. We're, we're, this is and not some people... fringe leftist conspiracy. I'm, what, we're, what we're reporting is the, okay. is the scientific consensus and on some this issue. And, and also, you do actually... I mean, you'll know that Lewis Hamilton, one of the racing drivers yesterday... Mm -hmm. Big up the protesters, he said. I love that people are fighting for the planet mm -hmm. and we need more people like that. Mercedes said, Lewis is endorsing your right to protest, but not the method you choose which compromise safety mm -hmm. and that of others. And Hamilton said on Instagram, please don't jump onto our race circuits to protest. We don't want to put you in harm's way. Is there a point, do you think, when lives could be lost? I mean, to sit on a Formula One racetrack. They were still on the track, mm -hmm. the drivers. Look, I appreciate it's counterintuitive, but history's shown time and time again that civil resistance is the most effective means of bringing about the kind of societal shift that we need to see in the sort of time frame that we have left. So, well, we move on to your next point, which is that you're actually... So, clearly, you've achieved your first objective. It's incredibly disruptive. Mm -hmm. It's very high profile. Mm -hmm. You get the headlines, you get the interviews. Yep. The second issue is... Are you having an impact on policy? Well, I mean... And by that, your own admission, you're not. Well, so I mean, I think next? that speaks more about our, the criminality of our, of our government 
who is engaged in a project again, uh, basically killing the UK population. But if you want to have an impact, and firstly, I'm not sure whether that language is going to help when it comes to lobbying. Or genocidal plans. I mean, the it's, government's it's genocidal. genocidal. Yeah. At the well, moment, I actually at know, the moment, you know, the I'm government is plowing £236 million pounds a week of taxpayers' mean. money. They're funding £236 million yeah. pounds a week of taxpayers' yeah. money, subsidising the most profitable industry on earth. The chief executive of BP... Because I know what the word chief executive genocide of BP means. Says, says he's got more money than he knows what to do. Do with, I know what and we're subsidising them to the tune of £236 means. million pounds a week. Now, stick that on a bus. I know what the word genocide means, and the one thing you can't claim no, can't. is that investing in the North Sea oil, uh, North sea oil is genocidal. I mean, it's kind of... I mean, that undermines your case, Ed, because people you, listen to do that Do you and understand think, the consequences of what happens when we burn that oil? Like, this is not some hypothetical. It's happening now. How us many us people what, have to die before what, you take this seriously? Tell us what genocidal means. It means what, the what is, complete annihilation of our way of life. No, it doesn't. It means the no, it complete doesn't. collapse no. of our civilization. What is a genocide? We are seeing crops failing do you know, worldwide do you know right word, now. Do you know we are going to see a billion means? climate refugees on the move by 2050. What do you think our society is going to look like? Your colleague when, when last week, um, Emily Brocklebank, when she, um, she glued herself to a Van Gogh painting and um, you've also kind of disrupted Premier League games, she said, we can't live in a bubble of normality when society is collapsing around us. Mm -hmm. Isn't the point of your campaign that you aren't targeting oil companies or the government? What you're targeting is anybody who is living in this bubble of normality. Anybody Absolutely living a normal life untrue. is your target. And actually, the problem is, who are the kind the of people... Is, in a, the problem is... Think, is, is, is let, let, let me finish my point. Is, I, 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 I'll ask you a question. Will not, if, I'll ask you a question and you answer. If we do not the, make our, our practice is, visible, no, no, but it doesn't get covered by the media. Who are the people in society who target people going about their normal lives to affect their campaign. That isn't Gandhi. That isn't the civil rights movement. That's what terrorism is. You target oh, no, people's normal lives we are as a way of changing movement. things. We are, well, it doesn't we, feel we are not very non-violent to me. How dare you conflate me. us with terrorism? Mm. How dare you? Saying you have for, three for children. You have a massive platform here. You have the opportunity to tell the British people the truth every day. Saying and, and the that fact people, that you're failing to do that, target. how can you look James, at your children James, in the eye? sorry, Laura Tobin does do that every day. I'm sorry, I will not have the fact that we you don't cover climate change yeah, properly you, on this programme. Certainly not Level to the degree us. that you should be. You should well, be on here telling be, the British in, people in your view. That, 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 the, that they're led by a bunch of criminals who have no interest well, in dealing uh, with this Criminals... Price. Genocide. The thing which worries me is if you say anybody who's Come normal all, is your target we all saw and the you parties. call the government we know genocidal, that we know in the that end, they're taking money what from you these do oil is you undermine Pretty the Patel case. Priti Patel took a hundred thousand pound change. donation you, from an oil baron. You undermine recently. your case. We know who they work for, and it's not you, it's not me, it's not anyone watching this. Okay. The trouble is, you are setting back the campaign Great. for action on climate change. That's Absolutely. how I. That's patently untrue. Well, it's for a start, true. there was independent, independent research that, that confirmed that after our campaign in April, the percentage of the population willing to take action on the climate increased. Okay. So that's a lie. All right. OK, um, thanks very much. I, I also think it would be an unfair accusation to say that we're not very tough on the government. But we appreciate your company this morning, James Skeet. Thanks very Thank much. You. Thank you, Sam. Indeed. Boris Johnson is reportedly facing a cabinet backlash as ministers express anger at being asked to defend the government over the latest sleaze allegations.